hi guys at home or wherever um, to continue your po impossible shape after you transfer it to this little page remember by coloring on the back I did a demo for you um, you are going to um, match values and um, what you want to do is the background first and so I am going to do my background tealish blue and then across the color wheel from a bluish kind of color would be like an orangey so I'm going to do like an orangey coral impossible shape okay so what you need to remember is um, the background actually fades from dark to light to dark to light so I'm kind of being a little bit messy with my background first because then I am going to tape off each one of the four sections in this impossible shape, I'm going to tape them off so that I can use those to fade values from light to dark, okay? So I'll go ahead and show you kind of how I fade for this background. You can have like a little bit more of a textural background, um, and it's kind of darker blue down here. And you don't have to be so exact with your... Um, background because you're just going to tape off the lines anyway for your impossible shape. So it gets kind of lighter there in the towards the center because I'm looking at this plan. You want to keep looking at this plan. I'm going to keep fading over darker over here for your impossible shape. And pretty soon, I'm going to have this whole background done all the way to the edge of the paper. When you get ready to paint the inside, you want to definitely fade more carefully. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and take this frog tape, or if you have masking tape, or if you have a scotch tape, you can tape off each one of the four interlocking sections. They're like four L's. So there's one two, three, four. You're going to tape off one of those sections. Now, if you have regular masking tape, you definitely want to peel it off right after you paint the section, okay? If you don't, you're going to end up peeling up tape and it gets really frustrating for students um, very quickly. So you want to, you do not want to leave tape on this overnight or like if you're doing this in multiple sittings, you don't want to leave tape on this overnight. And I'm going to grab a pair of scissors and I'll be right back. Okay. And I'm just going to trim this tape and everything so it makes a really perfect shape. And then I will just get my coral color ready and I will fade it from light all the way over to the dark, pure color. So I'll show you what this shape looks like. Just messed that up. When I get all the way done taping, and again, I'm not pushing the tape down real hard because I don't want to mess up um, that shape. And I can trim it to, to match it perfectly. It takes a little time to tape, but boy, does it save you time in the long run of trying to get those perfect lines. Plus, it's just a really good skill to tape off a painted line. Look, so I'm going to retape that one. Hi, Emily. Okay. Okie dokie. So there you have your one little section taped off nicely and neatly, and you are ready to paint it. If you look at this, you're ready to start at the edge light, go all the way around to dark so that it's interlocking. So um, that's it.